Welcome, welcome everybody back to Power Guy World. This is Slam Jam Cam here. Totally not a different day. It's all the same day. It's all just it's all just that meta. Um well last we left off we were 27% apparently. Oh, and we actually had because hang on, actually, yep, back to five lives. Let me let me test this theory right now. Eight lives. Last we left off on this exact same day, we had eight lives, you see. The console clearly was not shut off. Hope everybody's doing well. Last we left off, we got to see Handheld Explorer. And that was, honestly, about a week ago for me. So let's uh, see where things are at here. On this uh, bald boy color. Gotta get that spontaneous hair again. I think I, I, I showed that title to my friend. Uh, and he was, uh, side-eyeing everybody. Like, yeah, exactly. Exactly, uh, my reaction there. This looks very, uh, Mega Man, much like everything else. Oh my gosh, aren't those, like, jumpy guys even there? Okay, is that a, is that a bonk? That's a head bonk? Okay. Head banging? Yes, I hope everybody's had a fantastic week. It's actually been an excellent week here in quite busy as a part of the course when I actually start doing this stuff again. It's kind of like, a lot of things happen and then it's like, oh man, just gotta hit that record button for even just a little bit, which is what we're doing today. I'm taking a break from a lot of work, honestly, and uh, I was thinking like, Baldur's Gate, and then I was like, no, nah, we gotta, we gotta hit that record button, we gotta get this out. Anyone wondering about release schedule? There's not really, I was trying to make it, um, cool ladder works. About, um, daily on the weekdays was the plan, quote unquote, and the plan went about as well as, um, you know, that attempt just did that. I don't know if you can match those green guys apart. I was, I was testing it out there. I don't know. If I cut back too late, as usually I do a quick edit by looking at the wavelengths, um, yeah, like, he seems to arc, like, to meet you. I don't know. Didn't I get one fine before? Okay, let's see. We're gonna match this guy? Okay, we can do it. Whoa, god, it's finicky, and dang, he's on wheels. It's a big roller, you might say. High roller? What's, what's the actual term there? What am I going for? What am I doing? What am I fighting for? I, I would go pull out on that one, though. In the season where the window is not open, maybe be a better choice. So otherwise, it's just almost like, don't even do that, man. Don't even, don't even do the Mega Man. Don't even do the Mega Man. Let's play the Mega Man stage. Let's pick which... You know, I genuinely do not know how I walked off the cliff. I think I was watching not my character. That is weird. And in case you're wondering what the hell I'm trying to quote and not doing well, I'm not going to pretend the quote was well either, but it's dang iconic for how poor it is. It's one of those... I love watching, like, awkward, bad... Music, acting, whatever, it's its just funny to me. It becomes iconic in its own way. If you're not familiar, watch What Am I Fighting For? Literally, that's all you're gonna need to search. It is a Mega Man thing. I have no idea from what game. I don't play Mega Man. This is the closest I have really been to playing Mega Man. But yes, I, other things I wanted to mention, but... Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm having some debates on like things I do want to do. It's, it's just insane to me, man. I've had this idea floating around, and I've... I've kind of done it already, um, and the different ways the idea floats around basically just comes down to, I've always loved the idea of, like, parkour gaming, man, but no, to, like, steal a term from, like, I guess what Minecrafters back in the day were doing, good, I'm mentioning that, but you know what, screw it, we all have played that game, we all like that game, it does come with a certain audience, it doesn't need to be stated after a dozen years that we all know these things. Jump over me. Jump over me. Ha ha. Ha ha. Tricks. Um, but yeah, I like the hardcore term in, in the sense of... I don't know. It's such an edgy freaking term, but like, just the, the, I guess, deathless attempts of certain games. And it was never meant to be like a, hey, look how good I am at this game. Clearly, uh, this, this series is a testament to that fact, except that was a pretty sweet little bob and weave I just did there. Um, I can do it occasionally. Especially with the monkey ball. But, yeah, I just figured, like, man, it would be so cool to, like, have these deathless attempts at games for literally anything. 
I always thought it was coolest in, like, I guess the hardcore, like, Minecraft Terraria format. This is speaking, like, literally, this idea has been floating in my head. Before I even knew of those, or watched those, I did watch the, like, Peanut Butter Gaming ones. Way back when, man. I want to keep my thought going. Don't make me cut away. Don't make me do it. Don't make... Just, just live. Just, just, just live. Easy. Live. Screw it. You want to come along for the ride? <laughs> I always thought it was cool, because the, the way you'd lay those out, you know, and yeah, I did my own gang attempts of it, whatever. Imitation is the finest form of flattery. I did quite enjoy those for someone that doesn't, uh, claims to not watch a lot of YouTube, but used to. Um, at least gaming, streamer, whatever. Um, yeah, the way they had, like, the different panels, it was like, oh, when you're, you're dead, you're gone, etc. I always wanted to, like, treat it the same. I even, like, I've had so many random attempts of it that I just, like, never released. Like, ah, uh, did you know? Haha, <laughs> behind the scenes. Some things never change, you see. I did, uh, I did one of these for Resident Evil 4, like, almost ten years ago, when the idea was floating around. And again, the idea was never to be like, oh, I'm amazing at these games. The idea is I haven't played Resident Evil 4. That would just be, like, on the intro screen, it'd be, like, chalked up, like, um, ability with game, and it would be, like, a, a 3 out of 10. <laughs> or something, because, uh, I would have, like, knowledge of brief bits of the game and whatever back then. i played Google whole thing since, but yeah, it was, it was a deathless attempt of that framed more as, like, let's see how far I can get. And this whole idea goes back to, like, honestly even further. The reason I say it was floating around before that is, um, originally, I don't know if it's out there, I will try to remember to link it if it is, but I used to have this How Long Can I Survive series, and that was the premise. This is on, like, 2007, I want to say. No commentary, it was just, like, Microsoft Movie Maker. And uh, I was just like, well, Doom's a good game, so we did Doom on the Super Nintendo of all things, and it was like, how long can I survive? I, although I think I took multiple stabs at each level. But yeah, the idea, the basic idea is like deathless attempts at games. I've been throwing it out there for like pretty much literally anything. I was thinking about it for Yoshi's story to go full circle on what I've done on this channel specifically, but. Oh no, no. Okay, that's not a solid jump. Is a jump through not a solid? In the state to matter, there is a, a solid liquid gas and a, a jump through. Did you know? Oh, okay, that's a Sonic enemy, is it not? Those green guys are very much akin to, like, the Sonic 3, um... I forget what the zone's called, like, lo is it launch base? Like, the grasshopper dudes? I think they're actually in, um... More levels than that. They're in freaking Marble Hill Zone, too. Is it Marble Hill Zone? I don't know my Sonic levels today. But yeah, I don't know, these these Deathless Attempts games, man, I've had that fascination for like ever, and I've never like actually pulled the trigger other than like the Minecraft hardcores, which in themselves have had many unreleased uh, iterations back in the day, and actually somewhat recently we did do a, a comeback one that I started editing, but those are just so much work for someone who's frankly doing this as a hobby very much when he finds what rare free time he has in the third person. I might. That's that's the important detail. That thing's not getting me. A vertic vertical scroll. Cool. We're super ready for vertical scroll. Is that even a thing? Mario World Cuts? I'm like... I think so, man. Maybe? I, I forget. Okay, nuclear waffles. Nuclear waffles bounce. Not bounce. Bounce into the nuclear waffle. This is the variations of what could possibly be in the many iterations of what imagined to be video games that turned into a popular franchise known as Mario that turned into um, a hack of said game that historically came into this video from some guy on YouTube. Just a train of thought. You follow it? Yeah, you did. Cool. Oh, we still go upsize. Still get on the get big train when we, uh... Let me get out the trucks right now. What the lightning thing there? Does he respect the rules? The unwritten rules of Mario. Boss door, you gotta hide it. Nope. Always like a random curiosity of mine. A lot of hacks. You'd be surprised how many do that. Gone. Hey, amigo, the nightclub is not open yet. Get out. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to do an accent. It's 
So, I think, I not that I did. I just want to ask about my, I don't remember if this is my voice, if I'm just doing voices. Can that be considered an accent? But his party is not big enough for both of us. But, whatever. Let's dance. Oh! Oh, he's... He's a, he's a groovy man. Wow. Oh, jeez. You don't want to do this? Sure. Let's do this. Just dance with me, buddy. Oh, you want to take away my cape? Alright, well, I can't dance as much that way, you know? Cape has a whole element. We're doing spin. We're doing spin. Ooh, there he goes. Ooh. Oh, you're gonna bounce. Bounce with me now. Alright. Ready? Ready? Ah! Got you, buddy. We got you covered. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. None of them. Oh. He went bald. He, he, he goes bald when he dies. I get it now. Spontaneous hair. You die, you go bald. It's like the opposite of Zoidberg. You know, when he survives the crew. Niche reference. Cheers if you get it. Are we back at the start? I think we're back at the start. Love being back at the start. Oh no, it's right at the door. Right at the door, and it's trying to harm me before I enter said door. Hey buddy, I've never had this conversation before. We're all different Marios. That's just theory. A game theory. Did you know that every Mar Mario's never actually died? He's just like, you know, every iteration of him falling off a cliff makes him a game theory. It makes him theories of games, of dead. And only really, the only real Mario is the one of Parallel University. You find the complete stage. I'm surprised I remember that. No hate, I did, uh, Buddy and I were having that conversation. I was like, it's one of the only YouTube channels I ever unfollowed. And I don't even know why. I think it just got too, like, I either grew out of the audience, or, um, it became very oriented to an audience that was not of my age description. <laughs> But yeah, no hate. It was always high, high level work, high level work, high effort. I always thought it was good stuff. But yeah, I'm not even gonna pretend to be like we we're talking about. I'm not even gonna pretend it was the Five Nights at Freddy's thing, just endlessly. Like that's what most people say. But ah, uh, uh, for me, nah, man, it's fine. I actually found that stuff quite fascinating. What Scott Cawthon was doing for like the first 17 games, and by that I mean three. But that series definitely did. Like, it's not even like I, you know, I didn't think they were good games or anything, but I did find like all his ridiculous, cryptic nonsense of lore was amazing, quite honestly. I quite appreciate that. And then it was like, what? Then they released like three, and it was like the final chapter. It was like it ran its course. You know, you're, you're running a game off assets. Cat, don't start rubbing your face on the wire, please. Thank you for that, Mitzi. Um... Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't even I don't even pretend to be in the loop of this stuff anymore, man, but like I'm pretty sure it ended up being like the final game or something. It wasn't. And I I wouldn't I could not honestly tell you how many it's at now, but that's most of game theory covered. Of course. This music actually quite reminds me of um Time Splitters 2. I'm trying to think of the stage. I think it's like um Return to Planet X? I think the music from there? I think I'm getting that right. I think I'm getting the exact song right. That's what I mean, I can make these connections. It's really ridiculous sometimes. Okay. Okay, stop disco dancing, disco stew. The fish in your dang shoes died. Was that not enough for you? You know, those poor fish in the fancy disco shoes? Can I stop dying? Can I just, like, I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna focus to do the thing. Yeah? Yeah? Sound good? I, I really don't want to repeat the whole level. It was all vertical scrolly and a little generous with that, but eh. I don't want to repeat any level. I did not think of that earlier. Why didn't I just get this guy Disco Stoops' voice? Oh, I don't actually remember Disco Stoops' voice. That's why. Does he go out? He goes out. Why not?
One thing I do find really hard, for whatever reason, I find with these hacks is like when they do custom bosses. Sometimes I point out that people like didn't do custom bosses. But I'm remembering like other ones like another Super Mario World Central is it? and and SMW Central production where it's like, I can't get past the first boss. Something about everything I know about physics of Mario goes away. It's friggin' movement of the boss just seems so weird. It's not even like this guy's weird, he's not doing anything to Bosses, man. Hidden power. Hidden one up, in fact. Does exist. Does it do the thing? Ah, sometimes it like keeps going. I figured it may as well check. I talked about it not being there. And then, you know, like, it's there, but we really wanted to go in the boss fight, but no. Nope. this for a ridiculous amount of time. I can't follow this guy's movement. We're doing it. It's time, the time has come. Because we'll see. You'll see how badly I, I just don't understand. I think he's taking the asset of like the rainbow shell Koopa um, as like that. But it's just like sometimes I get like so heat, so heat synced that like heat thunk. He's heat seeking me, and it's like sometimes I jump over him and it's like nowhere to land. He's just whoop, 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 and it's like you get hit. It's like, dude, enough of this shit. No, I didn't mean. There's the skip button. This is what happens when I map safe states. I don't know why that's being debated for time. I didn't. You know what? Like, it's, there was barely time to do this today. I'm defending it. I don't know why I have to defend it, then I defend it. But, yeah, whatever. Whatever. I, it's funny though, because it's one of those things. I have this like I swear I have this trait where it's like the um, the first attempt you do of anything is the best attempt. This is my let's play curse or just gaming curse. The first attempt you do of anything is your best one, and then after that you get nowhere freaking close again because we got this guy four hits. I think the first try, I maybe got two or three once or twice. Since then. Yeah, I don't love that. Yeah, like, is... Mm, I guess it's not bad. You might have to go only after the, uh... Magic Koopa kind of bullet one. The triple fireball is just generally annoying to deal with. Jeez, what art doesn't exist? Okay. Oh, he's dead. Cool. <laughs> ah! I have such a tough time with these, I feel like it's getting nitpicky when it's like, I didn't like that boss fight, change that. It's like, no. No, it's not the case. This is... This feels like more of an on-me thing and whatever about them. I can't read. Why does it look like my eyes are different spots? I think it's the reflection of the glasses. Or, um, this boss killed me. Literally. We're returning to the network. Next time. But we have quite a bit more to go with this. I forget what Lucas Mega Striker did. I don't know if it's the name earlier, so thank you for the hack. It has been fun. It has been a pleasure. The boss fight apparently is made me go cross-eyed or something. Um, and we're saving now. I don't know how much that will keep up. I'm gonna try to not as much as possible still, because it's just like, I feel like when I start doing that, I um, don't play as responsibly. You know what I mean? So. There's also that component of it, and there's like all the arguments on why or why not to do that in general. It's just, ultimately, it's like, I do enjoy doing these, but I don't have a lot of time to fit this in as much as I thought I didn't know I would, so... Justification. Still doing it. Alright, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I probably don't hear me as much when I'm fucking up the dang, looking at you. Mike's there. Hope you all have a good week, day, whatever it might be. We'll try to do this again soon. All right, take care, go Oilers, I guess. Always, not I guess, just, just do it. <laughs>